Hello everybody, it's the Gaming Dad here and we're continuing LEGO Batman 100% Walkthrough and Achievement Guide. In this video we're doing There She Goes Again on free play. So the same as usual, I'm going to just cut where the mini kits are so you don't have to see me destroying every bit of scenery. So the first mini kit is all the way to the left once you've dispatched the enemies. You're going to destroy the pieces in front of the garage gates. We exploded somehow, I don't even know how that happened. Anyway, once you have destroyed them, you want to build a switch. And once you've obviously got those studs, because we still need to get superhero and we've not got any of the double or quadruple or whatever the other ones are. So we're going to go in there and we are going to build a little vehicle. Once the vehicle is built, we're going to jump in and go all the way along to the suit swapper. We need to jump out here and have someone with super strength to pull this dumpster away from the garage door. And then jump back in the vehicle and go inside the garage. That will give us the first mini kit of the level. Also, I realised in the last video about how we didn't have a character that could double jump into Toxin, and there we go, another explosion. It must be there's penguins or something. Poison Ivy, that's who I forgot to mention, so my apologies. Completely forgot about Poison Ivy. So the next mini kit is also on the far left. We need someone who can go into the Toxin. They're going to go in here and build this little fan, and then activate the switch. When we get the opportunity, we need to switch over to Underwater Robin. I mean, Killer Croc could do both, but we don't have him. But go inside and get the mini kit. Next mini kit, we can see those metal objects on the far right. We're going to get a double jump character to get over there. We need to destroy them with explosions, so Demo Batman will do. Just place that on top and move out of the way so it doesn't kill us. Once we can, get our double jump character again to go over and build. Activate the switch, and that will give us access to the mini kit. We need to make sure we are obviously playing underwater Robin again. I've went past them, haven't I? There we go. So, in this area we also have three collectibles. We have carrots. So the first carrot is on the far left, and it's behind a dumpster. As we can see the orange seeds there. We're going to move this all the way out of the way, and then build. and destroy all of those flowers to get the first carrot. The second carrot is down by a shiny object. You've got to look about the area to find them. Just going to take multiple at once. But there is the second carrot. So the final carrot, we have more shiny objects. I can't remember which one it is, so we are just going to explode as many as possible and we will find out for you guys as well. There we go, the third carrot is there. So next mini kit, on the far left we have a magnet wall to climb up and we're going to scale the building. We can actually go through here and come out here. Make sure you destroy the trash cans outside and they will create a grapple point. Make sure you get the juicy studs and activate your grapple to go right up to the top. And we need to take out these enemies first just because they're going to annoy us. We need a character with the sex appeal and we have poison ivy for that. Once they've slowly opened the door for us, or gate, or whatever you want to call it, jump up and get the next mini kit. Once you've built the bridge for Robin, even though in free play the character will swap over, you want to go to the bottom by going down the ladder, jumping down. There are going to be some goons respawning, but that's fine. 
you want to destroy all the greenhouses and build the seeds. Or plant the seeds technically, even though they're build its. And like I say, you need to do all three greenhouses. So it's a good amount of studage you're actually getting as well. We love when we see a blue one because it's less to chase after. Though it's not very often we see them. Anyway, once we build the third one, we'll get access to the tractor. I know. Or a lawnmower on top of our building, fair enough. Go across all those plants we've just wasted our time actually building. And once we've done that, the mini kit will spawn. Sometimes the stuff that asks us to do are quite counterintuitive, but oh well. Anyway, I'm going to choose poison ivy just to reach it. Just north of the previous mini kit, we need someone with super strength, so Mr. Freeze will do. He'll pull that and throw it. Now we need Batman or Robin to grapple up to the top, smash a window, kill the enemies that are there. And once inside, go to town on everything in here. And the mini kit will spawn. After the first fight with Catwoman, we're going to choose a super strength character. And we are going to move this dumpster. Once we're here, going to go down and turn to left, and while we're under the fan, we're going to explode a bomb. Choose a double jump character, Poison Ivy, where are you? To get the next mini kit. Next up, we've got the hostage. We've actually seen him in the story mode, but where you have to kind of progress, you're going to go down here and go all the way to the right hand side, and we're going to see a few of the goons picking on a poor hostage. When you've got this little copter, you're wanting to go over to these little glass panels, destroy them, make sure you destroy everyone, and jump in to get the next mini kit. Now you need to be underwater Robin as well. Go into this pipe and get the next mini kit. So while we're in this helicopter as well, you want to make a detour to the left and you'll see here is the final mini kit. Same again, shatter it with Sonic Batman and once it is done, you will finish your mini kit collection. There is still one red brick though, so hold off before exiting to the back cave. We jump in from the area before we will obviously create a zip line to progress on however if we go to the far left we'll see the red brick behind a glass panel jump in and get the red brick that'll finish off this level nice and good so save and exit and we'll go to the totals so we've unlocked more detonators we have managed to get the superhero rating so that'll give us another piece of the manor We've got a good amount of studs there. And lastly, the mini kit off this level. So, next level, we'll be doing two stroke, two free play. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification to keep yourself updated. And if you could join my Facebook and Patreon, that would be greatly appreciated also. Last but not least, see ya!